Pew Research is calling 2000 to 2010 the worst decade for middle class Americans in modern history. When Washington kicks the can down the road again and again, what the American people get is a really kicked can. Senator Ron Wyden addressed Ashland Rotarians this afternoon, sharing his bipartisan tax reform proposal, which he says will stimulate the economy and increase jobs. Last time you had tax reform along the lines of what I'm recommending, when a big group of Democrats and Ronald Reagan got together, the country created about 6.3 million new jobs. Now, nobody can say that every one of those jobs is due to tax reform, but it clearly helped. But not everyone is as optimistic. I, I think the middle class has had it. Al Smith, Ashland resident and retired fighter pilot, feels the fiscal cliff has already come. They've shipped all the jobs away. They're not any more jobs. They tell you that all these people are being hired, but most of the hiring is for inconsequential service jobs. Right now, the tax code rewards American companies for doing business overseas. They get to defer their taxes. What we do is take away that break and we use those very same dollars to lower the taxes for creating what I call red, white, and blue jobs. He also plans to triple Americans' standard tax deductions. Still, Smith isn't ready to jump on board. How long is the welfare going to last? Dollars going down, down, down? I mean, just tell me something good. Which Wyden contends is part of the problem. The consumer who is responsible for 50% plus of our economy, it's a consumer-driven economy, is also caution. Consumer caution and a lack of American jobs prompting Wyden to keep pushing for tax reform. In Ashland, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News.